This is a great one. You're gonna for like your this line thing. of work. Uh, election day's tomorrow. We thought it'd be fun to take you all the way back to 1952. Eisenhower v. Stevenson. <laughs> Eisenhower won, and it was the first year that an election computer called UNIVAC was used to project the outcome of the race. Did so accurately as well. New age for technology, major milestone in election history. And here's how CBS's Charles Inglewood reported on the use of this exciting new machine. UNIVAC is going to try to predict the winner for it just as early as we can possibly get the return then. This is not a joke or a trick. It's an experiment. We think it's going to work. We don't know. We hope it'll work. This UNIVAC, it can add 2,000 separate additions in one second. It can make 500 multiplications, 250 divisions, and do all sorts of other complicated things. So we hope, as the evening goes on, to get you a prediction from UNIVAC based on statistical principles of the result of this election as it happens. Results as they happen, Anthony. What do you think <laughs> seeing that old computer? Well, I love the line, we don't know, but we hope it'll work. That's something <laughs> I will not say tomorrow night. So, so it did yeah. predict the election accurately, and, yeah. and the way the story is often told is it was right earlier than the people covering it were comfortable making the projection. You know what? Some things never change, right? <laughs> some, some, you know, a lot of times people have a rooting interest in this, yeah. but ultimately the computer is the algorithms. The computers have gotten a lot smaller. Yeah, all yeah, yeah. Back I was going to say, you have a blinking light. You've got, all, you got a console on, behind the monitor here. Just on a laptop now, but we still don't. Look, you know what? For me personally, I see that, and I realize it is such an honor and a privilege to continue that tradition yeah. at CBS, you are. where we try to bring the latest technology to report to the viewer what's going on in real time. You do a great so job. So true. Thank Anthony Salvanto, thank you so much.